What's up guys, Lucas Still with Autumn Athletes. I'm here with Robert Stevenson of the Colorado Rockies. And Robert, first of all, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Of course. So let's just start, you're from the Bay. Yeah. Uh, what city exactly? Uh, from Martinez. Martinez, okay. Take us through just kind of what your journey's been as a baseball player. Um, so I was drafted in, uh, out of high school in 2011. Um, I went to Alhambra and Martinez. Um, drafted by the Reds in the first round. Um, was with the organization for the last almost 10 years, I guess, until uh, around Thanksgiving got traded to the Rockies. Wow, it's been 10 years already. Okay. Yeah. Um, where were you going to go to college if you didn't get? Uh, University of Washington. Okay. Uh, what, Megs, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know a couple guys that went up there. Um, so you've been a professional baseball player now for 10 years. Mm -hmm. what, were you always a uh, relief pitcher? or were you? So I, I came up um, through the system as a starter uh, and made my debut for the first couple years as a starter. Um, had pretty limited success there uh, and made a transition to the bullpen where it was uh, I was a lot more comfortable um, and I think okay. first year in the pen was 2017 kind of went back to a starter role in 18 but didn't work out too well so then uh, became a full-time reliever in 19. What were some of the you know just main things you did to make that transition? From I think to... routine was the biggest thing um, you know you have to transition from a five-day routine to a being able to pitch every day routine yeah. and I think it worked for me pretty well because you know you have less time to think about things in between <laughs> starts and you go ahead and uh, you do the same thing every single day prepare to pitch every single day rather than you right. know you've got on day one you got this day two you got this and it changes all the time so okay did you throw the same pitches as a starter or as a reliever did you focus on some or um, I kind of scrapped some pitches when I went from starter to reliever um, I developed a slider I've thrown almost exclusively since then um, scrapped my curveball, and uh, I was throwing a split, and it wasn't really working out too great. So I tried to change up, and I don't know that's when something I've been tinkering around with. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know, so. Yeah, I know your slider's been really good. You've had a lot of success with the slider, um, but just kind of going back to that routine that you were talking about. What are some of the big factors for you that you need to do, or to feel ready to play, or? training before the game anything what's important to you i think the first thing i had trouble with was the lifting routine because you know you're going from you do probably only two days worth of lifts um, as a starter mm -hmm. to lifting every day but in smaller amounts um, just kind of building a routine where you're going to get everything you need to but not feel exhausted by the time the game comes around um, yeah. so that was something that i had to transition in uh, and then your arm care routine something you know obviously you're trying to prep your arm differently. So that, w that was another thing that I was trying to change. That's, I mean, that's something that I, I mean, I at a lesser scale dealt with in college. I was a yeah. starter and then towards the end of my college career was a reliever. Um, but it was weird for me playing catch before the game. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, fifth inning, sixth inning rolls around. Maybe right. I gotta do a couple of pivot picks with the green ball. Yeah. Maybe play some catch. That was, that was the other thing too, is getting it fired up as quick as you can. And, and you know, that's something as a starter, you've got all the time in the world oh, to yeah. get ready. And then you go to a relief roll and you're like, I gotta get loose now, you know? and. Uh, maybe multiple times a game too. So that was something I wasn't used to in throwing back-to-back -back days. And um, so over the last couple of years, I've gotten better at that and yeah. feel comfortable with it now. But at first it was it was challenging. Do you have, I mean, just for guys out there that might be in college or high school that are relievers, mm -hmm. do you have any advice for how to get ready quickly or what your kind of go-to, you know, two-minute drill is? Or I think the best advice I can say is always to be hot, um, you know, because like, uh, even if it's hot outside, even just throw on a sweatshirt so that way you're almost sweating by the time you're, you start getting yeah. loose. So that way it, it's less time to get hot before you're on the mountain, you know, um, and just be prepared. Like, you know, I, it was different because the last couple of years in Cincinnati, we didn't really have super defined roles um, right. aside from our closer. And um, you'd see guys moving, uh, it'd be the fourth inning and you'd see the entire yeah. bullpen moving around because nobody knew who was going to go in the game. So we'd all be trying to get loose and make sure you're prepared just to go in. Uh, in case your name's called. I mean, baseball's such a weird sport, especially as a reliever, where you know it could be the third or fourth inning when you'd be like, oh, I have three innings to chill, but right. all of a sudden, three pitches later, it could yeah, be double, double definitely. home run, and you're like, oh, I gotta get up. Yeah. So that's crazy. Um, but, so you've been here at OA for just this off season. Mm -hmm. um, how have you liked it so far? Oh, I've loved it, yeah. Um, it's been something that, you know, I used to do a weighted ball routine back in high school, and I think it really helped me. And I kind of got away from it for a while, and now coming back here, and doing this, I feel like it's really helped my arm a lot so far, and um, I've loved the program. Well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think especially as you said something about being, you know, being a reliever and how you have to be ready every day, I think one of the things that we try to emphasize to our high school athletes here especially is the recovery routine, because if you're throwing, you know, say 10 throws with the green ball, mm -hmm. 10 throws with the blue ball for pivot picks, and you do the same thing for rolling, and you play catch, you're throwing a lot. Right. And 
you got to be able to recover so that you're ready to go again tomorrow. Yeah. And you, like you said, you might have to pitch three days in a row. So I think that that recovery routine is something that is vital for our program, and hopefully, like you've been able to use too to feel better. Yeah, absolutely. And and you know, along with that, and getting in the training room and getting the necessary work in there too, uh, to keep your arm loose. Yeah. Have you been working with Evan or? Have you... I have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Evan is great. Kime handles a lot of our pro guys, and yeah, they're top of the line. It's been so great having them in, in the facility. But um, you've been coming in twice twice a week, right? Yeah. Okay, making the trek from the Bay Area. How have you been able to get your throwing in on the other days? Um, just been playing catch with uh, with another guy out, um, and basically going you know every day except for I'll take like one day a week off, mm -hmm. um, and just kind of following the the program that that's been set already. Awesome. What a with COVID and with such an irregular year this year, what has kind of been your biggest struggle in getting your work in or, or staying ready and staying on a routine? I think uh, the, the hardest part is always having a catcher. Um, I've struggled with that throughout the yeah. off seasons over the years because um, I've, I've just never really been able to find a catcher that's like in the same area um, or just the timing. You know, it's always hard to find a, the yeah. timing for that. So um, I think that's been the hardest part. And they got their schedules. If you find one, they yeah. got a hit. And sometimes they don't want to catch 95. Yeah. So, uh, and plus, especially in the off season when you're all over the place and you haven't you haven't dialed it in yet. So it's it's not a fun bullpen to catch for sure. Yeah, we've been lucky enough to have a couple guys step up. Chase Patton's been catching a ton mm -hmm. of pens, and T.J. Wheeler before that. Uh, but catchers are definitely a, a hot commodity. Yeah. You got to take care of them. Uh, so you mentioned that you got traded to the Rockies. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you haven't played a game for them yet. But going into the spring training here, what are you looking forward to being a part of the Colorado Rockies? Um, you know, I mean, I'm obviously excited to be closer to home because uh, now my family can come out and visit and I'll be able to be on the West Coast. Uh, yeah. So that's exciting for me. But uh, just a chance to see a new organization, see how things run, um, meet some new guys. I think it'll be fun. Um, give me a completely, you know, a, a completely fresh start somewhere. Uh, and I feel like there's a lot of opportunity in that organization right now. So I'm Definitely. excited about it. And Coors Field's gorgeous. And yeah. as you mentioned, we'll be playing the Giants too. So you'll be closer to home in those yeah. away games. Um, but awesome, just kind of finishing up here, do you have any personal goals for 2021 season or anything that you'd like to see happen in this year ahead? Um, you know, I just want to I, I want to completely forget about the year that I had last year and build off of the year that I had in 2019 because I felt like I, uh, I had a pretty good season that year and I want to build off of that mm -hmm. uh, and get back to where I was and, and get back into the later inning roles. Yeah. Uh, Kirk, weren't you hurt a little bit this last year or no? I was, yeah. Okay, do you think that, that probably was not easy? It's probably a fact. No, right? yeah, and especially with the, the short season, too, trying to get back into everything without spring training was not the easiest. So, I mean, it, it was, was such a roller coaster year. Yeah, not, not, not the best year for that. Yeah. Well, all right, man. I think that, obviously, as you said, it was such a weird year, but 2019, you show what you can do. Mm -hmm. And we've seen it in here. You've been making strides in just a short time you've been in here. And we wish you the best and good luck this year, dude. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it.